Okay, now... It's time for something completely brand new to the channel. I've wanted to get one of these for so long. And it was just the right time to do it. During quarantine... Um, geez, a couple of different uh, YouTubers were recommending this one. And my friends were saying that I shouldn't go with the size that I got. But... I have the money for it. I have a little bit of disposable income at the moment. Maybe I can give it a shot. I'm only gonna get this goddamn box open. Oh my god, they sent it in a bubble mailer. Now, there's a little disclosure. This one cost me $80 plus shipping. So hopefully we'll get our value out of it. Can you show me which one it is? I'm sure we will. Oh yeah, look at that. Brand new to the channel, and I think we're going to continue doing these. So, I'm going to pop it open. I can already see a few games. One that I wanted. Uh, a poker chip? Okay, well, that's cool. A couple of games, nice. Actually, more than a couple, it's ten total. So this is fucking sick. I'll send you a bunch of promotional materials. Two free games? What? Pardon? The fuck? Two? Uh, what? I gotta... Excuse me? Did they add it into there or something or what? Weird, okay. I gotta update my library after this video, that way they don't send me the same game twice. And they are very good about that, they don't send you duplicates. Oh, okay, I got a little baited there. I can see quite a few games in here, holy crap. Okay, this one is... Steel Diver? No idea what that is. Uh, I'll have to look up the value later on on that one. A sealed copy of Sushi Striker, which I thought was Project Steam. I saw the S and I was like, oh, it's a game I wanted. Once again, I was baited. But, I mean, it's, it's sealed. I'll take it. I might not play it, but I'll take it. Dead to Rights for GameCube in a reproduction box? reproduction box, but it does have its manual. Not too bad. Oh my god. A sealed copy, uh, maybe a remanufactured copy? Is it? I don't know, it feels kind of weird on the side. Maybe it was like cut into. Oh yeah, it definitely was. But it looks like it wasn't resealed, so it I'm going to say it's a sealed copy of Siphon Filter Dark Mirror. Not a very expensive game, but one that a friend of mine might be jealous of. Another sealed copy, not a very expensive game again. Rise to Honor might be resealed. I think it is. I'm not going to count this one as sealed. At least, I don't know, man. It feels kind of weird on the edge. And it was kind of coming off a little bit up on the top. So I don't know if I'll count that one as sealed or not when I go for its value. I have a lot of extra games here too. Holy crap. And ATV Off-Road Fury. No Nintendo 64 games, but plenty of games to round out my PlayStation 2 library. So that's amazing. Some Game Boy games I could finally play. Can you read that? Probably not. Oh, I have to translate that. I don't know what it says. I'll do that later. What's this one? Hercules for the Game Boy? Okay. Uh, another one that I'll have to translate that I probably won't be able to play. And the Quest for Camelot. Okay. A bunch of little weird games. That's, that's weird. 
a couple of Game Boy games at least. I got some coming in from GameStop, so th that'll be good. This one is Monster Trucks by Magisco. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing that. And ATV Quad Power Racing. Not bad games by any means, but let's see if they're worth eighty dollars. <clears throat> Okay, so this is a website that Nintendo used, so I'm going to use it as well. And just to start off, we'll look at a loose copy of Steel Diver. 364, not bad. Not too bad. You know, that's just a start. We have plenty of games to go over, so that's game one. Game two is a sealed copy of Sushi Striker, which... I don't think anybody's jealous that I have one of those. It was for the Switch as well, okay. So new price would be five eighty eight. Again, not bad. It's just a start. So we're at nine fifty two. Let's get that over here. So that's what, two games now? And we have ATV off road fury two. Actually, I need to check and see if that's even incomplete. Oh my god, it is. I didn't even check that. That's... Oh, I... I am an idiot. I'm going to pop that off for a second. I'm an idiot. So, I just finally looked inside this. And it's a not-for-resale copy. Not that it's super rare or anything. That is just... Weird... <laughs> Weird to see. It's on the disc as well. It's a not for resale copy, so we have to see which one uh, that would fall under, I guess. So let's find out. Uh, obviously, for this one. Hmm. I don't know what we would list it as. Obviously, obviously, I accidentally highlighted it. Oh, here it is. I'm just an idiot. Okay, complete price six oh seven. So not, not a bad price. I mean, it's obviously not a high demand game. But just the fact that I have a my first ever not for sale copy, or not for resale copy, that's freaking sweet. And then, oh god, one of those crappy tie-in games. Jet Li. Rise to honor. And it's not even listed. Oops. Let's get that out of here. Rise to honor. Ah, that's why. And this is the greatest hits edition. New price, eight ninety three. So we're kind of rounding it out with a ton of not very good games, unfortunately. But you know, it's a mystery box. It's a game. It's a mystery box of games, and most of which are probably games that we've never played, or that I've never played at least. Now I'm going to count this one as sealed. This is siphon filter. Let's see. For the PS2. And that's a 7, 740. Not bad. I gotta show that off to one of my buddies because he really wanted to play this game. But he didn't have a PSP at the time, and that was originally the only way to play it. So I, I guess it got a remake or something? I gotta look that up. Did to right. Oh my god, okay. Not PAL GameCube. We have GameCube. Why is there so many versions of it? And the PAL version in new is 5932. Okay. So let's go complete. $7. Not bad. And now into our Game Boy games. So let's see. I'm going to get all the English copies and I'm going to translate the Japanese ones. <clears throat> So we have, god, this isn't even going to be worth looking for, because I don't even think it's online.
Oh, okay, it is. Game Boy Color. Complete and bro. What? Why? Why is this? Why is it complete in box copy? Eleven forty-two. We have a loose copy for three seventy-five. I wouldn't even sell for that much. Hercules, which I never tried this one, so I'm kind of interested in how it's going to be. Six seventy-three. Up. Nope. Okay. It's enhanced by the Super Game Boy, apparently, so I'm going to have to get one of... I'm going to have to get my hands on one of those now. Well, wow, it's kind of surprising. I mean, it is a Disney title, but I didn't expect it to be that much. Especially for a Game Boy game. Now, this is what I thought it would be. I thought it would be closer to that. Let's see, that's what? 367? Just at the benchmark there. ATV Quad Racing. Two? No, this is the first one. For Game Boy Advance? Hello? <laughs> is it even listed? Uh... Okay, there we go. Three ninety nine. Okay, a lot more than what I thought it would be. Oh god, damn it. Okay, we're gonna have to. It, it just kind of messed up my pricing, or it kind of messed up everything that I was adding up. So I'm gonna translate those games and then re-add up everything. Okay, so I translated one of them. And what we came across was Super Robot Tyson Link Battler <laughs> for the Game Boy Color. Uh, I don't know what to put its price as because uh, it's it's so hard to find on eBay. That there was no exact matches, and when I go under. Sold items. Zero, <laughs> zero results. So, from the two... <laughs> from the two sold listings that I found, it was at six fifty and like $7 and something cents. Let me see if I can get it to pop back up. Go backwards. So, yeah, see, look. six fifty, which is... in euros... Oh god. Uh, oh man. I gotta cut that part out where it showed my login. Uh, we're gonna have to do a little bit of conversion. <laughs> uh, I'll just convert this price right here into USD. So I did two types of conversion. I did a euro to the United States dollar, and that makes it 734. Or if you do it from the Australian dollar, like, or the Australian currency, like what it's showing right here, uh, then make it 730. So we're just going to say 730. Unfortunately, that's literally all the, <laughs> all the data I could find. Like, if you look at this, there is all sorts of of, uh, where is it? So from here to here, that's all Super Robot Tyson. I don't even know if I'm saying it right, but none of them are for the Game Boy Color. So, I'm kind of at a loss here. I don't know what to put that one as. I'll just put that one as 7.30, I guess. Then we gotta figure out what the other one even means, too. So I'm kind of running into the same problem <laughs> with this one. Uh, this is the game here, so it's... I, I should not try pronouncing that, because I will horribly butcher it. Now, I don't know if I can find any sold listings. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, dude, really? Okay. 
Let's try... Not that one. Fuck, man. Maybe this one will actually give me some sold listings. Sold items. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh my god. This is going so fucking well. Three dollars. <laughs> Screw it. I'll, I'll put it as three dollars. Is, is that... Okay, that's Canadian. Fuck it, three dollars it is. Obviously, we only made it out. Uh, we made it out at sixty-seven dollars. Is that really what I was at? Yeah, sixty-seven. Come on. That's three. Sixty-seven thirty-six. And this is the video I was using as a reference. Just in case you wanted to know. And, oh, uh, God, they paid like $88, I think is what it was. I'm probably going to continue to support them. It's just, it took me so long to find the games. I don't even know if I can even play these. Obviously, my Game Boy, I don't even have a Game Boy. Uh, my ds won't be able to because it's american it's not japanese and i think they're region locked everything else here i could totally play so that's good it's just those two <laughs> games i can't play which out of every single game we got what a stack of four here we have oops four game boy games that's eight ten Ten being the two Game Boy Advance games we got. And then our two 3DS games pushes us up to 12 games, so that's not bad. Unfortunately, our value wasn't as high as I would have liked it to be, but... Was it worth it? I would say so. I got some new games to try out, new games that I've... Honestly, I have never played a single one of these games. Except for probably Hercules... I might have played that one at some point. Everything else is totally brand new, so that's kind of cool. 